on screen text. Let's move. Making friends. Welcome back. I'm Hayley, and today we are going to talk about friendships. Having good friends can make you feel happier. All friendships are different and can make you feel happy in different ways. Your friends can play a big part in helping you to form your own identity. Spending time with friends will help to improve your communication skills and having friends who are not the same as you can help you to be more understanding of differences. It is natural for friendships to grow and change over time. And sometimes friendships don't always work out, but that is okay. It is normal to feel nervous when you meet new people. Some people get so nervous that they don't know what to say. There are a few reasons why you might feel nervous about making friends. And this includes being worried about being embarrassed or rejected by someone, not having things in common with someone, comparing yourself to others, being too hard on yourself, not knowing the right thing to say, and having had friendships end in the past and not knowing why. There are some tips that can help. It's easier to make friends when you smile. When you smile, other children and young people will see you as nice and easy to talk to. Remember that they also may be feeling nervous about making friends. So when you smile at them, they will feel more relaxed. When you are talking to someone, it is important to point your nose towards them so that they see that you are talking to them. Otherwise, they may not know who you are speaking to. It's important to show people that you want to be friends with them. You can do this by saying something nice to them. For example, saying, I like how long your hair is, or I like how you are so good at soccer. Asking them questions about their interests will also help you to get to know them better. You can ask what their favorite TV show is or their favorite sport. Focus on things that you might have in common with someone, such as your favorite book or video game. It's important to be a good listener and give people a chance to speak before you jump in with a question or a comment. People generally like to talk about themselves, so act interested and ask follow-up questions about their interests that they bring up. Look for someone else who is alone and don't be afraid to approach them and be the one to start making conversation. It is easier to approach one person than a whole group. Ask open-ended questions. Open-ended questions are questions that can have a number of different responses, as opposed to a closed-ended question, which is usually met with a yes or no answer. Examples of open-ended questions include asking, what did you do on the weekend? What did you do on your holidays? Or what are you doing after school today? A closed-ended question would be asking, how was your weekend? Which your friend may reply by saying, good, and nothing else, which makes it hard to keep a conversation going. Sharing is a great way to help you make friends. Offering to share some of your food or a toy with a friend will help them feel included and helps build on your friendship. There are also some things to avoid when trying to make friends. It is important to be aware of some common mistakes that other kids make and try to avoid them. Don't act differently just to fit in. Always be yourself, be genuine and honest. Don't brag. Boasting about yourself will give others a negative impression. It's okay to talk about yourself and your interests, but make sure you give the other kids a chance to talk about themselves as well. Try not to make the conversation all about yourself for too long. Listen for a pause in the conversation before you jump in and say what you want to say. It is important to wait until the other person has finished speaking to show that you have been listening. Even once you have made some really good friends, sometimes these friendships can have arguments and fights. It can be really upsetting when this happens, but there are some things you can do to help. It's okay to have a break from each other and spend some time apart. Do some things that you enjoy doing by yourself. Ask yourself what you are feeling and think about what your friend might be feeling too. When you are ready, it's a good idea to meet with your friend in a quiet place to talk about how you are both feeling. Try to stay calm. Let your friend know how you feel about the fight, but also make sure you listen to how they feel as well. After talking, 
you may find that everything is forgotten and you go back to being friends again. Or sometimes you may not want to stay friends anymore. That is okay. It is normal for friendships to change. And remember that a new friend may be just around the corner. People may not always be your friend. Sometimes people can be mean. Unfortunately, bullying at school can be a big problem. And it isn't nice if you were the one being bullied. Bullying is more than just a fight or disliking someone. It is the repeated act of being mean to someone over and over again. Bullying can be verbal, physical or social and can happen anywhere, at school, home, on the bus and online. Bullying can be very hurtful and can cause lots of pain. If you are the target, you may find that you are starting to have trouble sleeping, trouble concentrating, are losing your appetite, feel unsafe or afraid, sad and alone and feel down about yourself. There are a few reasons why someone might be a bully. Sometimes a bully is looking for a victim, someone who is younger or smaller, or just someone who acts or looks differently. A bully may pick on this person to make themselves feel more important, popular, or in control. Sometimes a bully may torment other kids because that is the way they are treated, either at home or from older siblings or from other social settings. Sometimes they think their behavior is normal because they are used to being in an environment where everyone is angry and shouting at each other. If you are being bullied, some things you can do to help include keep your distance from the bully. Use the buddy system. Have a friend that comes with you to the bathroom or to your locker so you are not in situations where you will be alone with the bully. Don't bully them back. This can cause the situation to get worse and can potentially end in violence or injury. Hold on to your anger. It is very hard and requires practice, but try to stay cool and calm and not react to the bully at all. Bullies want a reaction. They want you to cry or lose your temper. By not reacting, the bully is more likely to leave you alone. Tell the bully that what they are doing is not okay and firmly tell them to stop. Ignore the bully and walk away. You can act uninterested and pretend to be on your phone. Eventually, the bully will get bored of you and walk away. Talk to an adult that you trust. Teachers and parents can help you to stop the bullying and you will feel better if you talk to someone about it. Do something nice for yourself. Have someone help you to report the bullying. And most importantly, remember that if you are being bullied, it is not your fault. The bully has their own problems and is taking it out on you. Remember that you have many people who love and support you and can help you to solve the problem. Make sure you talk to someone about what is happening and don't keep it all to yourself. A great online resource that has plenty of useful information is kidshelpline.com.au. I would really recommend that you check it out for some more information on how to make friends, how to handle bullies, and a whole heap of other really interesting and useful advice for common problems that kids can have. On screen text, let's move. Balance and coordination. Gabby performs the exercises on a foam mat in a gymnasium. For our balance and coordination session, we will need several bits of equipment. First, we will need a bean bag, an exercise ball, a BOSU ball, a wobble cushion, a foam balance beam, a soft ball for catching. We're going to start with the musical statues warm up to the song Sunny Summer. You must be moving or dancing in the space that you have, but get ready to completely freeze when the music stops and try to keep your balance in what position you have frozen in. You must be completely still when the music stops. Okay, ready? All right, we want to be dancing and moving. Lots of big movements. Gabby dances, lifting her legs high and swinging her arms in time to the music. She freezes, standing motionless mid-dance. I hope you froze and you need to stay completely still until you hear the sound again. Don't move. Okay, dancing. Lots of movements. Okay. 
and freeze. Completely still. Keep staying still. Well done. Let's see some jumping and some big dancing. Let's put some energy into it. Hands on hips, freezes. And freeze. Don't move. Stay still. Hold. Hold. Last round. <laughs> Crouches down, up into star jumps, twisting and turning to the music. Freeze. And hold. 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 And relax. Well done. Good job. We should be feeling a little bit warm. We're going to move into our balance section. So coming to one end of your mat, so you have the rest of the mat out in front of you, we're going to do a tightrope walk. Now you're going to imagine that there's an imaginary line on the mat. You must walk heel to toe along without falling off. So you put one foot directly in front of the other one, so your heel touches your toe, and then you step forward with the other foot. Walking heel to toe in a line, arms out to the side for balance. Try to keep your eyes straight ahead and your head up. And let's walk forward all the way across the room, making sure your feet touch each other. And once you get to the end of your mat, stay where you are. And then we're going to walk backwards, heel to toe, trying to stay on your imaginary line. Arms out wide to maintain balance. That looks great. Keep going. We will repeat this one more time. Let's go forwards, heel to toe. Try not to wobble. Looking great. And once you get to the end of your space, we will move backwards. Carefully steps backwards across the mat. All the way back across the room. Well done. One more step. Great. Good job. Okay, moving back to the middle of your mat facing forwards. We're going to move into some single leg balance variations. So first off, I just want you to stand on one leg with the other leg bent up behind you. We're going to try and do this for 30 seconds. Arms across your chest with your hands resting on your shoulders, arms crossed. Try to stay still. If you have to touch your foot down for balance, that's okay. But try to come back up again when you can. Have five more seconds. Gabby holds the pose motionless. And let's change sides. Other leg bent up behind you, arms crossed across your chest. And let's stay still. Remember, it's okay if you have to put your foot down, but try to come back up as soon as you can. You have 15 seconds. Keep your belly button pulled in, tummy muscles engaged. We have five more seconds. Good, and relax. Okay, moving back to the original leg that we first stood on. We're back to a single leg stand, other leg bent behind you. This time we're going to make five big circles with our arms forward. Big circles. One, two, three, four, and five. And then five backwards. So it keeps balancing. Two, three, four, five. You're doing great. Okay, let's change legs. Onto the other leg, five forward circles. One, two, three, four, five, and five big backward circles with your arms. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done, good. Both legs on the ground. Let's have a 10 second rest. We have our second last variation. This one is a little bit more tricky. So back to our first leg again and balancing. Now I want you to pat your head with one hand and rub your stomach with the other hand all while standing on one leg. That looks great. Now can we change hands? So you're patting your head with the other hand and making circles on your tummy with the other hand. Well done, keep going. 
Great, let's change legs. One leg up behind you, back to patting your head, rubbing your stomach. Keep balancing. And let's swap your arms over again, patting your head and rubbing your stomach. Well done. Okay, quick rest. And then we have our last variation. This one is quite tricky. So again, if you need to put your foot down for balance, that's okay. So back onto our single leg stand. Now this time I want you to try to close your eyes and balance. If you want to make it even more tricky, try to touch your nose with both hands. So index fingers to your nose and out in front and back to your nose. Out in front, one more time, back to your nose. Out in front, well done, eyes open. Change legs. Close your eyes. Arms up and touch your nose and extend. Back to your nose, extend and back to your nose. Good, well done, eyes open. Great. Well done everybody, that completes our single leg balance exercises. We're going to move on to our bean bag balance. So you need to grab your bean bag. Okay, bean bag balance. I want the bean bag on your head. I want you to walk forwards, keeping that bean bag on your head. Little steps forwards, staying perfectly still, and then little steps backwards. Gabby walks away from the camera. Now let's see if we can do our tight rope walking forwards. So heel to toe, arms out to the side for balance. If your bean bag falls off, that's okay. Just put it back on. Oops. Gabby retrieves the bean bag off the floor and places it back on her head. And walking backwards, try to keep your head completely still. Head held high and still. Well done. Let's see if you can walk in a tight little circle. Arms out wide for balance. Round you go. And then we're going to see if we can do that circle backwards. So walk backwards in your circle. And our last one is a zigzag. A couple of steps to one side and then change direction and go the other way. Back to the original side and backwards. That's it. Bit of zigzagging, a little bit more pace. Let's go forward one more time. If you lose the beanbag, that's okay. Put it back on your head and backwards. Good, well done. We can get rid of our beanbag. We now need our exercise ball. We are going to sit on the exercise ball. Rolls the ball under her and sits with our arms across our chest. Now, if this is hard enough for you to balance, stay here. If this is too easy, I want you to lift your left leg up straight into the air. Hold for three, two, one, and down, and right leg up straight. Three, two, one, and down, back to the left. Three, two, one, and down, and the right. Three, two, one. One more time each leg, left leg up. Three, two, one, and down and right leg. Three, two, one, good, well done. Okay, we're going to move into a plank from the exercise ball. So move to one side of your mat so you have lots of room in front of you. You're going to roll over the ball onto your stomach and you're going to come into a plank position, walk your hands a little bit away from the ball and hold. Your feet are up in the air. You're squeezing your bottom muscles. Belly button is in towards your spine. Let's hold this one for 20 seconds. Gabby's body horizontal to the floor. You're doing great. Try to keep everything still. You have 10 more seconds. Knees on ball, arms out straight. And five. Okay, and hold there. If you want an extra challenge, lift one arm out in front, up for one second, and back down onto the ground, and then change hands, up and down. Well done, let's do this one more time. Each hand up and down, and up and down. Great job. Okay, feet back on the floor. You can roll off your exercise ball, and you're now going to lie on your back with your feet on the exercise ball. Lays on floor, heels on the ball. So you can have your feet and your calves resting on the ball. So your knees are bent at 90 degrees, your hands are by your side. I want you to push through your arms and lift your hips up off the floor. So hips up towards the ceiling, you're pushing through your feet. 
and you're bearing the weight on the exercise ball and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and down. We're going to do five of these. Let's push up, hips towards the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. Let's do three more hips up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Two more hips up. One, two, three, four, five. And last one, hips up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Well done. That completes our exercise ball exercises. We're moving on to the BOSU ball now. Okay, get your BOSU ball and pop it on the ground. So step on with one leg and try to keep the other leg off the ground if you can. Now I know it's tricky, so it's okay if you need to put your foot down on the ground and just raise up onto your tippy toes. But if you can, have that leg up and holding. Arms across your chest. Five more seconds. Gabby's leg wobbles slightly as she balances. And down. Let's change legs. Other leg on and step up. Get your balance. Take your leg off the ground when you're ready and hold. Keep your belly button in. Just focus on your breathing. It's okay if you need to tap down. It's tricky this one, so just regain your balance when you can. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and down. Great. Okay, we are going to do squats on the BOSU ball. We are going to do these squats with one foot on the BOSU ball, one foot off the BOSU ball on the side. Okay, so you want to put weight into your leg that's on the BOSU ball, arms across your chest, and sit back into a squat. We have eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. And let's change legs, stepping off the BOSI ball, pop your other leg up in the middle, the other one out to the side. You're squatting straight back down for eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, well done. Six, two to go, seven and eight. Good job. Okay, our last BOSU ball exercise is a lunge on the BOSU ball. So standing behind your BOSU, I want you to put one leg in the middle of the BOSU in front of you and the other leg a little bit further behind you and you're up on your toes on your back leg. Putting weight into your front leg, I want you to bend both knees and come into a lunge and back up. We have eight. That's one. Arms across your chest. Two. Belly button in to keep your core engaged. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Great. Well done. Let's change your legs over. Other leg moving into the center of the BOSI ball. The other one behind you, up on your toes on your back leg, weight on your front leg, dropping down into a lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Well done. Okay, let's get rid of the BOSU ball. We are moving into our leg lifts. So stand holding onto a chair if you need to for balance. If you feel confident, you don't need to use a chair. You're gonna lift one leg out to the side and hold for five seconds. One, two, keep that leg high. Three, four, five, and back in. And now the other leg out to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, coming back in. Okay, we're going to do an extra challenge and try and hold for 10 seconds this time. So leg out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. One more time on the other leg. We've got 10 seconds. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Well done. Okay, we will move into a little bit of a stretch now. We're going to perform a knee hug stretch. So lifting your left knee up in towards your chest and grab it with both hands. Pull it in towards your chest for two seconds and then slowly lower and repeat on the other leg. Knee up towards your chest, use your hands to pull it in. Hold for two and back down. Back to the first leg, up, hold, down, then up, hold, down, up, hold, down, up, hold, down. One more time each leg, up, hold, and down, and up, hold, and down. Well done. Okay, let's get our balance beam ready. Now grab your balance beam and pop it on the ground. And let's stand at one edge. I want you to step up onto your balance beam and walk forwards along it slowly, heel to toe, like we've done before. Arms outstretched to balance. And once you get to the end, I want you to pause. And now we're going to walk backwards, back along it. Well done. So keep belly button in, stay balanced. One more time forwards and one more time backwards. It's okay if you fall off, just hop back on. And let's go backwards one more time. Until the end and then pause. And this time I want you to walk forwards up on your tippy toes. So your heels are off the ground. Let's walk forwards if we can. This one's tricky. Try to balance. You're doing great. Can we turn at the end of the beam? It's okay if you fall off, hop back on, keep going. Don't worry if you fall off, just try it again. It's meant to be difficult. Gives you something to work on improving. Well done, and let's stop there. Okay, this time we're gonna walk forwards along the balance beam. As you take a step, I want you to kick your other leg out in front of you. So it's a kick with one leg, pop it down, and then bring the other leg through and kick, down, through and kick, down, through and kick. And let's turn around on our balance beam and back the other way. Take a step and kick and put your leg down, then kick, down, step and kick, down. One more step and kick, down. Great, and our last balance beam exercise, we're going to walk forwards and as you take a step forwards, you would dip down with one toe off the side of the beam, drawing your toe along the ground and then put it in front of your leg and repeat on the other leg. So dip off to one side, good, and repeat on the other leg. So doing a little bend of your standing leg as you go. And let's turn around, back the other way, a little dip. And put your foot down and then dip on the other side and down. Try to stay balanced, but it's okay if you fall off one more time. Well done. Great, okay, let's move our balance beam out of the way. Now you need to grab your step and pop your step on the ground in front of you. We're going to step up onto the step with one leg and kick forward in front with the other one. And then step back down and change legs. Step up with your other leg, kick forward, step down. Step up, kick, down. Step up, kick, down, step up, kick, down. Make sure you change legs each time. Up, kick, down, and up, kick, down, up, kick, down. One more time each leg, up, kick, down. Last one, up, kick, and down. Good, well done. Okay, let's move our step out of the way. Okay, we're now moving into our wheelbarrow walking. If you don't have a partner, you can walk your feet up a wall. Just make sure your shoes are off and clean feet. Haley joins Gabby on the mat. So if you're doing this without a partner, you're walking your feet up into almost a handstand and holding for 10 seconds. Now, if you do have a partner, lie on the ground on your stomach with your hands at chest height. 
Yeah, push up into a push up position. So your hips are off the ground. Your partner's going to grab your legs around knee level. And you're gonna take little steps forward with your hands, forwards to this end of the mat. And then we're going to walk backwards. Keep your back up, tummy stays strong, walking backwards. Nearly there, we're gonna try and do one more lap forwards. Forwards, good job, stay strong. And coming backwards, little steps backwards. Then make sure your partner very gently places you back down on the ground. Good, well done. Okay, we're moving into our ball catch. So you're going to stand on one leg and balance, eyes on the ball and get ready to catch, hands in front. It's okay to use an audible ball for this one if you need to. And catch and pass back to me. Well done and catch and pass back to me and catch and pass back to me. Two more, catch, pass back to me. Last one, catch, back to me. Let's change legs. Now, if this is too hard, you can stand just with your legs really close together, feet touching. Try to perform it on one leg if you can. Get ready to catch and back to me and catch, back to me and catch, back to me. Two more, catch and one more, back to me. Great, okay, for our next progression, we need our wobble cushion. You're going to stand on your wobble cushion with your feet touching each other close together. Get your balance. When you're ready, you're going to catch the ball. We got five. Ready, catch. One. Catch. Two. Catch. Three. Catch. Four. Catch. Five. Well done. Our final progression, you will stand on one leg on that wobble cushion. If you can, if it's too hard, repeat with both legs close together. Ready to catch? One, and catch, two, and catch, three, catch, four, catch, five. Great, well done. Let's change legs. One leg up on the wobble cushion, get ready to catch. One, and catch, two, catch, three, catch, four, Last one, catch, five. Well done, great job. Haley leaves, Gabby remains. Now, if you don't have a partner for ex this exercise, you can throw the ball against a wall. So standing, balancing, throw the ball and catch. Throw the ball and catch. So standing on one leg, throwing the ball against the wall and catching. If you do have your partner, we'll have the partner throwing the ball to you. Our last exercise today is just a nice, easy quad stretch to finish. So again, standing on one leg, bring the other leg behind you, grab onto it with your hand and try and pull your heel in towards your bottom, keeping your knees together. You should feel a gentle stretch through the front of your leg. And let's hold for 10 more seconds. Gabby, motionless on one leg. Try to stay still. Good, let's change legs, pulling the other leg up behind you, keeping those knees together. Again, you should feel that gentle stretch through the front of your leg and holding. Again, complete still as Gabby hold the position. Five more seconds. And down. Great, well done. That completes our balance and coordination session. Vision Australia logo. Three blue linking ovals on a yellow background. Vision Australia. Blindness. Low vision. Opportunity. opportunity.